Hey everyone, this is Steve from Taxopress, and Taxopress is the plugin for managing all the tags, categories, and taxonomies on your site. It's available for free from WordPress.org, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Terms Display feature. This allows you to take any taxonomy, tags, categories, WooCommerce product categories, whatever it might be, and display them how you want to on your site. When you first install Taxopress, you'll find this Terms Display feature as the third link in the admin menu, and there'll be one set up ready and waiting for you. If you click on Edit, you'll be able to see some of the settings. For example, you can decide which post types this is going to pull from, and you can decide which taxonomies it's going to pull from as well. I'm going to choose categories for this example, and you can also decide whether it's going to show in a cloud or a list. These are some of the simple key settings, but we can come back and see some of the more advanced settings in a little bit. So I'm going to save my changes, and I'm going to grab this short code here, which is going to allow me to show the terms on the site. Posts, add new, and I'm going to call this post with terms display. And I'll drop the short code right in there. Publish. And here you'll see a list of the categories that I have on my site. Tennis, sports, racing, basketball, books, swimming, TV, movies, hobbies. These are organized according to size. So TV and movies have 47 posts associated with them, whereas the smaller ones only have 9, 11. It's a traditional tag cloud, basically. The more popular a tag or a term is, the larger it shows on this display. So let me go back. I'll go into the dashboard, Taxopress, Terms Display, and I'm going to make a few modifications to this. So under the design area, I can decide to hide the title. I can decide how many terms to display. And initially, the cloud was a little unweighted. You know, the big terms were really big and the small terms were really small. So I'm going to you know, make a, a smaller range for them there. And I'm also going to choose a brighter color as well. So how about red for the small ones? And maybe purple for the big ones. And this is going to automatically put those on a spectrum between the red for the, the smallest, least popular terms and purple for the most popular and largest terms. And under the display format, I can also control how it looks with some more advanced options. There are some tokens you can use to drop in here to change the format of this. You can also add a CSS div around the whole output, and you can also add some CSS for the links themselves. So I'm going to save that. I'll go to posts, and let me view post with terms display. And there we go. It's changed from red for the least popular to purple for the most popular here. So this is only pulling from one particular taxonomy. This can show all of my tags, all of my categories, all of my product categories. If on the other hand, you wanted to show only the terms for the post that someone is looking at right now, you would choose the current post option. It does almost exactly the same thing, but it only shows the terms for one post, the post that's being viewed currently. Terms display is a more of a traditional tag cloud for all of the terms in a particular taxonomy. And it's also available as a widget and a Gutenberg block if need be. There we go. Taxopress and Terms display. Here we go. If you have the pro version of Taxopress, you can create multiple of these displays. 
I'm using the free version, so I can just choose the one that I have set up. Okay, so it's under, this is the default categories layout that comes with WordPress. It should be underneath that now. If I go to the front of the site, There we go. This is my terms display output. And as you can see, inside TaxoPress and terms display, there are some more advanced options as well. We looked at the display format, which allows you to customize what each of those links looks like. You can also choose how they are pulled from your database. For example, you could only choose terms that have been added in a certain time frame. And you can also choose how they are pulled as well. You might want to choose them alphabetically. In this case, name will pull them alphabetically. And you also have the option to control once they've been chosen from a database. You also have the option to control how they're displayed. So in this case, we have set the the number, the maximum number to 45. We are going to be choosing terms from the database based on name. So alphabetically, basically the first 45 terms, and then we're going to show them randomly. You could flip this up and perhaps you would choose to show only terms added in the last year. And you can pull them by popularity. So these would be the most popular 45 terms added in the last year. And then we're also going to show them by popularity. So this option really has a lot of flexibility. It's a more flexible alternative to the default categories and tags widgets that are available out of the box with WordPress. You can choose any taxonomy. You can choose from multiple display types, and you can also customize both the color and the layout of your terms display. If you want more information about this, head over to taxopress.com. If you get the pro version, you'll be able to add as many different versions of this term display as you want to your site. Thanks for using TaxoPress.